Kathleen Corrigan is from the 7th District in California, a very important district in California, and, it, and is, is the director of the School Food Services for Mount Diablo Unified School District in Concord, California. She has 26 years of experience in school nutrition. She has collaboratively launched the district's coordinated school health council, currently serves the School Nutrition Association on the Nutrition Committees and the National Nutrition Standards Task Force. I'm the Director of Food and Nutrition Services from Mount Diablo Unified School District in Concord, California. My name is Kathleen Corrigan and I'm speaking on the lo from the local level today. I'm here to tell you about some of the exciting things happening in Mount Diablo schools. We believe breakfast is critical for every student in order to start the day ready to learn. For the past few years, we've had a focused plan to increase the number of students who eat breakfast. We started with a presentation to district administrators reviewing the impact of breakfast on learning, test scores, and student behavior. Next, we began to offer breakfast a second time at recess or mid-morning for the students who can't quite get, early, get up early enough to get there for the first breakfast service. We've expanded the number of high-quality, nutritious menu offerings to include more fresh fruit, whole grain cereals, breads, and low-fat dairy products. Two years ago, we expanded our summer lunch service to include breakfast and after-school snacks. We serve breakfast at 35 of our 47 schools. While I am an absolute believer in breakfast, it is prohibitively expensive to operate small breakfast programs. At a minimum, the additional staff time could cost just a little over $3,000 a year, which is manageable. However, in addition, extending the hours of the current employee would require adding health benefits with an additional cost of about $15,000 a year. That requires serving a whole bunch of bagels. Whole wheat, of course. I want to try automated vending machines to serve breakfast at small schools. If we can vend a nutritious and fun breakfast that appeals to our student customers, this would be a way to limit additional staffing at each site. We have applied for a grant from California to purchase such vending machines for three of our schools and are hope, we're hoping our grant is successful. While we are still serving less than 5,000 students, our breakfast efforts have been successful. We served 6.8% more breakfasts in the 0506 school year, 7.3% more last year. Our breakfast service so far this year has increased by another 12% over last year and we are thrilled with these results. I'm also very excited to be part of Mount Diablo's Coordinated School Health Team. Coordinated School Health is a planned, integrated program designed to enhance the health of children and adolescents. The real payoff for districts comes with the accompanying improvements in both academic performance and attendance. Coordinated School Health includes eight interrelated components, and those are health education, physical education, health promotion for staff and parent and community involvement, health services, psychological services, nutrition services, plus a healthy and safe school environment. Most of these components are in place in Mount Diablo at different levels of implementation and enthused representatives serve on our district team. There is a piece still missing from our coordinated school health plan. I believe that children will become like the people who teach them. Children spend the majority of their young lives at home and at school. The people that teach them are also at home and at school. Until these powerful teachers model the positive health habits we want to see in our students, the problem of childhood overweight will continue. Since the children will become like the people that teach them, my next goal is to find funding to develop a wellness program for school staff and parents in Mount Diablo. This remaining piece of our coordinated school health plan will begin to create and encourage positive health habits in parents and school staff because these behaviors must become habits. When our most critical role models are modeling healthy habits for kids, change will happen, and not until then. I also want to mention California's Senate Bill 12 that went into effect on, in July of 07. This bill imposed nutrition guidelines on all foods and beverages sold on campus during the school day, including st fundraisers by student and adult groups. 
Top leadership in my district embraced the intent of this legislation. Working with the superintendent and his assistants, we called together countless site personnel and involved them in its implementation. This was actually a career moment for me. After 25 or 26 years working in school nutrition, I never dreamed I would see such massive change in district practices. The nutrition standards have been applied to all groups district-wide, so it can be done. Thank you for this opportunity to, just tell, to tell you about some of the things I am most excited about in Mount Diablo schools.